Hey everybody, I'm Jen and I am um, RV living with reptiles. So I got an exciting thing going on today. Look around. You see this beautiful place? I'm in a beautiful conservation area in um, oh, uh, Missouri and I'm having a great time. It's beautiful out here and uh, if I keep turning you see my camper. All right, so you can tell I'm out here. Let me show you guys what's going on inside. When I tell you guys I'm breeding ball pythons on the road with me, some people believe me, some people don't. Here's my proof. Let's go check out what's going on inside my camper today. It's kind of cool. Let's find out. Don't mind my mess. I do live in this camper. However, when I say I am breeding, this is Craythel. She is a Pestel Lesser Scaleless Head. And if you look, she is locked with Gwyneth Neath, who is a Russo Scaleless Head. So, all right, what does that mean? If these two actually produce, that means I could get scaleless, all white snakes. Not a lot, not the whole clutch by any means, but maybe one, maybe even two if I got really lucky. That is seriously cool, guys. So anyways, while we're in here, I will show you. There's Winnie, my retic, my dwarf retic. She looks like she wants to come out and say hi again. So I might be getting her out again today. And say hi to Winnie. Hey Winnie girl. Winnie the retic. Winnie the snake. There's Winnie the Snake. This is good for her too because it lets her get out and get stretched it's, out. Yeah, it's such good enrichment. Brian, I can't get him convinced to do it. Huh? I can't get him convinced to do it. Why? I think he's worried they'll get away. Well, I um, mean, there's always that fear, but you also got to know your snake. Hi, baby. He's so cute. Did you ever see Harry Potter? <laughs> the big snake on there? Look back here, you can really see it. I figured that'd make her stop and hurt. Uh -huh. Hey, Winnie girl. What you doing, baby? She is in this custom built um, enclosure that is six foot one inch long. It's two feet deep and 19 inches high. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of greenery in here for her. She loves all of it and then a huge tub for her to play in and whatnot. So 
and there's a, a bar that goes all the way across that she climbs on. Whoa! I fell, sorry. That she climbs on and whatnot. So, anyways, there's Winnie, my beautiful, beautiful uh, Jampea Anore Dwarf Retic. She's so pretty. I will definitely be getting her back out. And then here's all of my ball python enclosures. <sighs> and this is how I'm doing it. And there's Kubi's food. <laughs> But yeah, um, anyways, guys, that's it. That's cool. That's just seriously cool. All right, well, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you guys, if you're wondering how it is that I am breeding ball pythons in my camper on the road. Well, I turned my slide into Snake City, and everybody is on heat tape. I don't know if you can see it back there. I have my generator running because I got Winnie's uh, heat tape going. I've got everybody else's plugged into here. There's three outlets on this one thing. So yeah, um, that's how I'm doing it. I don't see anybody else that is locked up right now. Hey guys. It's dagged in the back and there's Bridget up front. I didn't expect those two to be locked up. Now, the other two I am excited about is this girl. This is Kira Edwin, And she's been doing a lot of locking. And over here, this is my banana spider. Scaleless head. So I was kind of hoping those two would lock, but it's okay. I still think it's awesome though. Those two, that is just cool. Now I'm not going to bother those two because I don't want to mess with the lock by any means. But yeah, that's just cool. And there's my little pastel clown up here. And yeah. So I've got my young ones in a little bit taller enclosures and my Older ones are in a little bit shorter enclosures because they still climb, but not as much. So, anyways, but um, the banana spider had just shed yesterday, and there's still a little bit of his shed up here, and he was with her. And so I actually um, left just a little bit of his shed in there, and then I put my scaleless head Russo in there, and yeah, I think that worked. So... I don't know. Um, honestly, I think breeding in the camper works really well. And the reasons why is because there's debate whether you should lower temperatures and, and stuff like that. I don't really worry about that. I put them on the heat tape. The ambient temperature changes because it just does. Um, at night, it's been getting a little bit colder in here. And I'm not, I don't have any heat on because I don't really need it. It's colder than what they might like, but with the heat tape, they've got their warm spots so they're good and everybody's happy they're healthy I've learned to put cypress mulch in the front and put aspen over where the heat tape is and then the heat gets through the aspen and the cypress mulch can hold in a lot of um, oh, uh, uh, moisture so this is what I'm doing guys um, I'm having a great time doing it and I'm loving this conservation area but I just wanted to show you guys what's going on and I did just move them um, Sunday I just moved them Friday night and then I swapped them around yesterday and here's what I get so I won't be moving again for a little bit so they got plenty of time to lock um, but yes this is exciting good morning everybody um hey it's about a week later and I was editing this video for um, breeding ball pythons on the road. And I was editing the video of how I'm doing it, and guess what? I'm sitting right here, right next to this container, and check out what I just looked over and saw. Now, I know it's hard to see, but this is my banana spider, my Mojave female. Their tails are interlocked. Now, I'm going to try to open this just to show you guys. So, 
I don't want to bother them. There you guys go. There's my beautiful Mojave female paired with my banana spider male. Gorgeous. Okay, so I just showed you guys Kira Idwin, my Mojave female that laid eggs last year, and she is breeding with my scaleless head banana spider. So that's really exciting. Um, banana Mojaves are gorgeous. Um, and she's also paired with my Russo scaleless head. So who knows what her clutch is going to have. I'm kind of going between my banana spider scaleless head and my Russo scaleless head with her. So we can get all white snakes um, that have some scaleless head. Um, we can get Mojaves, we can get Russos, or we can get bananas, spiders, Mojaves, banana spider Mojave. Uh, banana Mojave, banana spider, uh, Mojave spider. I mean, there's just all kinds of combinations that with these two pairings that I'm doing that we could get. So it's really exciting. Okay, everybody. I've had a chance to actually brush my hair now. Um, it kind of, I just woke up and they was breeding and I was so excited. I had to show you guys. Um, one thing is I wanted to kind of address, um, First of all, uh, Snake City, what's up? 3.0. I'm sorry, I'm editing right now. Um, and right behind me, they have switched positions, but these two, those two are still locked. These two are just snuggling. That's the two that was locked last week, and they're just kind of curled up together snuggling. They're not locked, though. So, that's exciting. Um, come over here Winnie my retic um, her heat tape is at 96.2 right now hold on let me turn off my AC sorry you can probably hear me better now I have her heat tape at 96.2 because um, it takes a little bit to come up and through the um, aspen in the back so she is actually way over here she's in her water dish she's just soaking right now in her water dish but anyways um I just kind of wanted to show snake city let me back out so you guys can actually see it this is my snake city 3.0 and I really like it and there's my YouTube editing studio <laughs> yeah anyways so but yeah I just wanted to show everybody there's snake city uh, 3.0 uh, here is where uh, these three rows, uh, the heat tape is all plugged in over here. These guys, um, when I was out at the conservation area last week, I had the temperatures up a little bit because it was colder in the camper. Now that it's warmer in the camper, uh, their heats, their hot spots are at 90 degrees like they should be. Um, but last week I needed it up a little bit because it was cooler in the camper and whenever it's cooler in the camper the heat tape needs to come up a little bit so that way they stay warm but anyways um, I kind of showed all I have to do is just kind of just pull these out and there's everybody they have a little bit of water I gotta get them some more water there's Dagda and Bridget um, Dagda is one of my males that he likes to breed with Kira Idwin too so I don't know if I'm going to breed him this year or not. He seems really happy in there with Bridget, so I might just let him and Bridget kind of be. <laughs> but anyways, so um, and I think I showed before that yeah they're all on heat tape. So that's just kind of gives you guys an overall view. Um, I have my babies in here. You can see my little spot nose is in the water right now uh, soaking and so is Alwyn my little um, het pied het genetic stripe anyways over here I've got um, Rayanan and Salwyn they are in their water as you can see I just put everybody's names on um, the different tubs so I can keep track of who is where and whatnot so okay I hope that this video has been informative. Um, like I said, I do keep them on Cypress Mulch and on Aspen. 
um, I've realized that in the camper at least the heat tape just doesn't seem to get through the cypress mulch as well and it does the aspen but the aspen doesn't hold in the humidity so I just kind of worked with both um, I'm getting ready to change all enclosures tonight so that should be fun um, and get everybody on fresh clean bedding but I just had to show you guys the excitingness or the excitement and let you guys know that you know what um it is june 11th i think and i got ball pythons breeding and if you talk to if you listen if you you know watch most of the youtube channels and the youtubers and all everybody says that the breeding um season is kind of october through march and everybody kind of stops pairing after march i don't know why um it might work for the main breeders and, and that's okay for me uh Kira Edwin, she bred last year and then she had her first clutch six amazing beautiful eggs last year on august 28th after breeding all summer and here goes my girl again she doesn't even start breeding until march so i realized that for the mainstream breeders they, they do it their way and it works and they have their results for me a hobby breeder um that's just a little gal solo on the road with my little um snakes this is what works for me i let the barometric pressure i let storms i let all that stuff just kind of work with them and i just keep pairing them and let them do them so you know i keep making sure that they've got the humidity the temps i feed them on a regular make sure they have their water make sure they have a clean environment and then i just kind of swap them out and have some fun with it and i get results so that's how I'm doing it. Please hit like, please hit subscribe. I'm such a teeny tiny little channel. Give me a little love, please. Yeah, go out there, find out whatever makes you guys happy and go for it. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm looking for my happiness and I'm trying to figure it out and go for it myself. So that's my advice to you. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys in the next one.